Hi there. Okay, um, it's the next morning. Well, it's almost noon, so the next almost afternoon. But um, anyway, this is the Manny. It still looks awesome. And I've done a little bit of cleanup around my edges. I'll show you what I used for that really quick here. So, I need to make sure my angles are right. <laughs> here more. Okay, so this is... My neighbors are leaving and they've got a big dog. Anyway, this is a little concealer brush. I got it at Target. It's an e.l.f. concealer brush. And I mean, this is the brush right here. It's tiny. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe we're concealing little tiny things, but I don't know about you, but my dark circles are way bigger than this. <laughs> anyway, so I got a little, little bowl dish at Sally's. I think it cost me a dollar. But what I do is just run it around here and get any little bits of whatever. And it just perfects everything. If there's any, you know, top coat or whatever around your cuticle area. This one doesn't really need it, but for demonstration's sake. And then this hand. I did have a little bit along here. And I thought I, uh, I thought the camera was recording, but again, it wasn't. So I had to start over. And so this is like what I, this is, I'm just showing you what I did, even though it's already done. So you can see how I do it. And then maybe this one right around here, a tiny little bit more. Yeah, that's better. It's a more, more rounded shape instead of it being so square, squared off around my cuticle. So there's that. And then what I also want to do is show you what jojoba oil can do. It's such, I mean, there's a little bit of oil in the remover too, but when you put jojoba oil around your cuticles, it just, it just transforms the look of it. I mean, get a look at how this one is right now. My ring is right now. And then when you put the jojoba on, it just, everything it just makes everything smooth and hydrated. And it just, it, it improves the look and improves the condition of your nails. It's just like my favorite thing to do for my nails. And you can see I have that little gap. And what I, what I like to do is just get it in there because it'll absorb through there. And then also when I get done with the rest here, I go under and get it underneath my tips because it gets absorbed there too. And I mean, this really is reasons number one through a hundred why my nails are in the shape that they're in. I mean, I'm sure it's partly genetics too. My dad, <laughs> I definitely got my dad's hands because he had big sausage fingers, but his um, nails were super strong and super long. So... That's what I do. And the other thing I do with the jojoba is you can take it and then like, it's coming into my hand now. Boy, did that come out wrong. <laughs> anyway, I have a little, a little bit. And then I just, I put it in my hair because my hair loves it. It's so good for your hair. A little bit on my scalp too. And you know, it doesn't make you all greasy because your hair and your skin absorb it. And that's my uh, other favorite thing with jojoba. And I also put it on my face um, under my moisturizer. If you do a skincare routine, what you should do is do your thinnest to your thickest. So if you have anything that's like an oil or a serum, that goes first. And then your thicker, um, you know, moisturizers or whatever go on top. So usually jojoba is my first thing and then whatever else is gonna go on top of that. And, you know, I think I mentioned my birthday's next month. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my 60s now, so I guess the oil is doing its magic, but uh, it's also makeup. <laughs> I have a little little bit of concealer today and put a little highlighter on, but anyway, so yeah. This is my Manny and I love it. I hope you love it too. And um, go out and have a happy Saturday. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
I thought I touched it. Okay, there we go. 